Hey, welcome to Adventures with Peps. We're doing something a little bit different today. We are diving into the old 1980s Judge Dredd, uh, I nearly said Warlord Games, Judge Dredd Games Workshop RPG. This book is amazing for details. I got a feeling this video is going to be, sorry, hang on. Appreciate the plastic plant as a, a book weight. There we go. Yeah, I feel this video is going to be very niche and if you don't want to watch it, I fully understand. This is a project that I want to do for myself. So you are welcome to join the adventure or skip. Either way, thank you for tuning in and if it's your first time here, drop me a like and a subscribe. It really does help and it's free to do. So inside this amazing book, you get a whole section on how to build or at least design a sector house for your sector of Mega City 1. For those who are regulars here, I have started the project called Sector 102 where I'm designing characters based from a block within Sector 102 called the Dan Abnet block. This hopefully is going to blend into the Warlord Games um, release of Block Wars. But I thought, as I was reading through this book, it'd be fun to make the sector house that goes with it. The actual sector. So there's only one sector house in each sector. We're going to take notes. We're going to roll dice. I'm going to do a little drawing. You're either going to love this or hate it. But hopefully you'll love it. So sector house. All judges are based either in a sector house or at just the central itself. There is one in each of Mega City 1's 305 sectors. You should be prepared, especially in a campaign game, to work out your judge's local sector house. Name, very easy. It's Sector House 102. And then the table below can let you build a bare bones sector house. Let's see if we can zoom in a little. Don't need to be so far away, do you? We're also not hiding these rules because they're super old. Right, height. It has 300 levels. That's easy. Population is a D100 times 12. So here comes the 10s. 60. Bang on 60. Look at that. Times 100. 6,000. That's pretty populated. Obviously, before <laughs> the uh, multiple wars that have ripped through Mega City 1. So, population 6,000. Service roads. I need a D3. I did not plan for a D3. So service roads D3 plus 2. So it's 1 plus 2. There's a free service roads. <laughs> wow, that's not many. Uh, service roads 3. And they are on... I assume they're going to be on different levels. Make no sense to have all of them going into one spot, would it? So D3 100. Or free 100. What? Free D100. That makes no sense to me because then it could possibly be on the highest level. Anyway, let's give it a go. So we've got to do free 100. So, first one. Free 36 plus. 83. Oh my god, I've got to do math now. Uh, 30, 39, 119, 149, 158. So one is on 158. I was not planning on this kind of math going on here. We then got two, 44. Uh, 51, 61, 
that's a low down one. 99. Nice. Uh, that makes it 159. Bang on 159. Oh, this one's going to be high. 100 and... 230... 245. I probably got that wrong. But we are now going with that. Hoverports D2. That's an easy one. One. <laughs> one hoverport. Hoverport is on. It's going to be a 2d10 plus 100. So, oh, that doesn't work. Right. 35 plus, that makes 55. 59 plus 100. It's on level 159. That actually isn't too bad because you got a service ro road on the level below. So that kind of makes sense. Vehicle parks, D3 plus 2. So 3. 5 in total. Oh man. <laughs> Who knew? I tell you what, I have never DM'd a game. I now have more appreciation for how much work they put in. What did I say? Five vehicle ports. Oh god, we're going to be here all day. Feel free to... I might speed this up so you don't have to watch all that. But here we go. We've got 10, level 11, plus... So we're now at 81. 89. Vehicle port 2, 34. 40. 82. Well, they're close to each other. Then 83. 90. 157. Oh, wow. <laughs> Hoverport is above the service road, which is above the vehicle. A 42. It's all coming together. 67. 100 and. 12. If I make any math mistakes, feel free to point them out, but I'm not going to change anything once I've got these numbers. 82, 102, 149. There we go. That's uh, the first page of the sector housing done. That's uh, we need a name for the plant. Feel free to drop me any suggestions. Ideally, I'm thinking maybe Walter. Walter the the water plant. I don't know. I think I've lost the plot, guys. It's I'm recording this on a Friday. I've had a long a long week at work. I may have completely lost the plot. So we then have repair bays D3. Watch these be in completely random places. So, two repair bays. D100. So, 90 is the first floor. It's near the vehicle port. Tell you what, that's it's all coming up. And um, 57. Nice. Right, entrance hall. There is one entrance hall. Entrance hall. Let's have a look where you're going to be. Level two. And then we have D6 plus 10 elevators, which go on all levels. So we have elevators, grand total of 14 elevators. I won't draw them in, but uh, good to know. Stairs 2D3. So three, five staircases. Their cases five ramps. We have D two ramps. One ramp. One. That's probably going to go into the entrance. That makes the most sense. That's not what I meant to put. Uh, ramp. Where are we? Ramps. All levels. Oh, okay. There's one ramp per level. Oh, I guess that's maybe 
one of the staircases would have ramps. I was thinking a vehicle ramp. Normal ramps make more sense. Anti-grav shoots. All levels again. Anti-grav shoots. 2d6 minus 2. So 6, 9, 7. Is that the last of the all levels? That is. So let's just make sure I don't forget. All levels is the number of. Then we get into the fun stuff. Promenade area, the D4. God damn it, I'm gonna use my phone. I don't want to go hunting for a D4. D4, a dice roll. Here we go. Can you see it? D4. We are. Ignore that one because it's D6. So we got a three. So three. And they are on three D3s. So library date, thanks. Library slash data bank. We got three. One, two, three. They are D3 hundreds. So, 33, 90, 101, 28, 80, 97, 187, 190. That ended up being a nice round number. 27, 112. 191. Oh, look at that. 90 and 91. We'll make that into a two floor library, I would assume. Forensic Lab. We get just the one. Oops, can't spell. Forensics is going to be on D210. So, 32. Uh, 52, 57, do we have anything? We have a repair bay on 57, got some exciting things going on here. Medical sick bay 2d6, one, only one med bay. And that is going to be located on 2d10 plus 50. Ooh. 75, 85, 87, 137. Then we have one holding tank. Holding tank slash interrogation. On level D6 minus 5. 6 minus 5 of level 1. Control center. We're nearly through, guys. Control center. Let's have a look. 2d20. Plus 260. So that's 10 and 10. So I can't count. So that's 20. There we go. 10, 17, 21, so 281. And then the sector chief is chilling out at 285. 285. Sector chief's office. All right, there we go. This is part one. I'm now going to draw up a quick map. Of something that's going to look like this and then we'll go through all the personnel because there's things like the sector chief chief of medicine chief of forensic forensic chief tech we won't go through everything because a lot of this is you just randomly roll as you're playing a game but i hope you will join me in a second and i'll have a pretty picture see you in a moment 
Hey, welcome back. It's a day later. And I have finished drawing first draft of Sector House 102. I think it looks great. It's very rough. I'm going to have to scan it into my computer so that I can uh, color it in and make some final tweaks. But I think you get the idea. So we'll start at the ground floor. I made the entrance with the giant eagle above it. We got some statues of bygone judges and heroes. We've also got the holding cell. Then a few levels up, I've got my level notes here. So in the 50s to 60s, we have the bridge out to Sector 102 South. We also have the vehicle bay. I've designated the Pat Wagon Bay. Then over here, we've got Sector 102 West Street. I kind of tried to make it see-through because tucked underneath it is the library. Then we've got a few floors that are purely for the med bay. Giant red cross over the top. We then have this ribbing effect. I have no idea what that would be for. There's no valid reason for it to be there apart from that I thought it would look cool. Giant sector 102 sign. Over here we've got another sign that just says obey its comms units to make sure that messages get to and from the sector house. We then have the H-Wagon port, I believe it's the H-Wagon, the ones that can fly. This unit is from a post-apocalyptic war, so it has the defense missile and laser bay so it can defend the sector from any nuclear attacks. we got the dank. Dank. <laughs> we got the data bank area, giant windows staring out like a creepy eye. I can imagine uh, it's like, I forget what they're called now in the game or in the comic. PSU, the surveillance team, probably hang out in there. Then we got another massive eagle because you can't have enough eagles when it's Judge Dredd. We also got the third and last service road. This one goes out to the Sector 102 North. We have the gym and physiotherapy area. Big giant windows because you gotta you gotta love the view when you're working out. The attempt at the flag. I remember there was four mega cities so I've gone with like four symbols and five stripes. I can't remember if that's correct or not. I need to look that up when I go to color it all in. Then up here we got Sector Control, which also has these massive windows so that they can peer out over the sector. We've got the dormitories at the very top and the Sector Chief's office with some extra comms arrays. So there you go. A little bit of a different video. I appreciate it if you've stuck this far through. If you're not already a follower, I think uh, give me a like because you've made it this far. You must have found something that was fun. I'm happy to have this now. We're going to work on the Dan Abnet block next, I believe. And uh, yeah, drop me a comment, let me know. I know this was a bit of a weird video. Using a 1980s role playing game to design this sector block and me drawing it. Let me know. Like it, hate it? Tell me in the comments. I'm here to, I'm here to listen. I think this is very niche. I'm not entirely sure how well it will do. But I had a lot of fun. So I definitely want to do something like this again. But until then, cheers for watching.